<laughs> yeah, it's always the first thing you check, right? Yeah. Um, okay, off to a good start. Woo! Um, yeah, that was really cool, that whole fire stick thing. Yeah, I mean, crystal sticks, was that the, was that the name for them? Because, yeah, I'm from Arkansas, and when we do crystal sticks, it's, it, it, it's not like that. I mean, uh, we, man, it happens. Doesn't end well, but uh, yeah, we set things on fire too. Um, no, it's, it's always fun to be here at these uh, DLI talent shows. Um, I see we got some kids in the audience, that's really cool. Um, I'm, I'm an uncle twice, so that's really cool. I'm, I don't have any kids of my own, I think. Um, at least, uh, I'm reasonably sure I have no kids of my own. But um, being an uncle is great just because it's actually your chance to have kids, but none of the responsibilities. Because it's like, you know, I'll be like, hey, dude, what's up? Let's play Micro Machines. Cool, cool. Oh, K K Kelly, he's dirty again. I don't know how to change him. You, you do it. That, that stuff's like kryptonite to me. To me. Anyway, I'd rather not take the chance. But um, no, no, it's, it's it's fun. But I realized something about the kids' generation. Um, whenever I like babysit for them, I watch cartoons with them, and kids of this generation have no good cartoons. I mean, when I was growing up, we had we had GI Joe, we had Thundercats, we had He Man, we had we had some cartoons back in the '80s and early '90s. Okay, I, no one can argue that they've got nothing. They, everything's educational nowadays, and that's that's a lot of stress to put on a kid. Okay, because if he gets to kindergarten and he doesn't already know the periodic table elements, they'll be like, "Didn't you watch Sesame Street? Come on, come on, stupid." Anyway. Yeah, but um, but no, I mean, I, the thing is though, I've, I've discovered that the cartoons that I loved, they did not age well. They did not age well. I watched He-Man the other day. Man, he didn't look that gay when I was a kid, that's all I'm saying. Man, He-Man, now you know why Cringer was so afraid all the time, that's all I'm saying. But that, another cartoon that really did not age well was Captain Planet. Everybody knows Captain Planet. I mean, okay, okay. When you are a superhero and your only villains are guys who pollute a lot, <laughs> hang up the tights and let Al Gore handle that stuff, okay? He's got it covered, all right? But you know what? I feel bad. I feel bad for the little South American kid. Because he had the power of heart. <laughs> what is his power? Nobody knows. I mean, it's like sometimes you can, like, sort of tell what animals were feeling, but I'm like... Anybody can do that. It's like, I think these elephants are afraid. And I'm like, yeah, the, the, the stampede didn't tip you off there, Mate? Yeah, yeah. Hunt! Whatever, whatever. I personally, personally, I know that if I summoned Captain Planet, I would never summon him again. I'd be like, who was that? Gayer than He-Man, okay? That was weird, all right? But I mean, you know what? I, I think I, I figured it all out. I figured why the cartoon did so well for so long. And that's because it was an allegory, okay? For those of you who don't know what that big word means, I'll, I'm about to explain. Um, okay, you've got a kid from Africa, a kid from the United States, a kid from Asia, a kid from Russia, and then a kid from South America. All the world is represented there, okay? However, the kid from North America has the power of fire. A la, North America has fire power. Yeah, what does everyone else have? They got some cool stuff, but Nothing's cool as firepower, okay? And you know what? What happens whenever they all combine their powers and work together? Something really, really gay. <laughs> so, you know, that's all I'm saying is America just needs to stick and do things themselves, okay? It's like, you know what? You find someone literally be like, hey, pick up that cup. Fire! <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. You're the eighth guy this week. <laughs> that's styrofoam. That's bad. <laughs> But I'm serious, I'd be a, I'd be a terrible planeteer if I was on that team. I'd be less, I, I, if I were the Earth kid, I'd be like walking around South, like Africa being like, hey, I think I'm gonna start a diamond mine right here, baby, yeah. Blood diamonds, mm -mm. That's good for the diamonds, man, that's good stuff. So, but no, but um, yeah, it's like watching all that stuff, I realized that, um, you know, we had good cartoons. The 70s had some really crappy cartoons. Anybody ever watch the Super Friends or any of the reruns? Super Friends just did not make a lot of sense because, okay, you got Superman, but then you got, like, people on the team that are just, like, regular people. It's like you and me, except for they're wearing capes. <laughs> These people have no business battling the most powerful evil villains in the universe, okay? Sending a little kid with Down syndrome 
with a cape on in a combat against Lex Luthor, it's gonna end bad, okay? Because Lex Luthor is gonna feel really bad afterwards. He's gonna be like, oh man, he's he, he fell down again. Oh, oh, he's crying. Oh crap, damn it. Here, here, take take this money. I just stole it from a bank. He, you need it more than me. Damn. Man, Superman, you're a dick. Why you gotta bring that guy along all the time, man? This, this is unfair. But anyway, yeah, it's, it's, it's all good. Um, my roommate's from a child of the 70s. That's, that's, uh, it's kind of embarrassing just to live with someone that old because, I mean, he'll bring things up that I've, I've never heard of. And he has bad habits of, um, like, you know, I walked in on him the other day and he was just sitting in his chair naked like this. And I'm just like, dude, um, I live here too. He's like, oh no, it's, it's cool, I got a rash. And I'm like, I'm not even gonna go into it. I'm gonna go see about building a, a shed out in the woods and that's gonna be my space. And if I come in and catch you doing that, I'll, I'll burn the shed down with you in it, okay? So, but anyway, it's always fun to get out and do these things. And uh, another big round of applause for everyone who came out tonight and everyone who performed. It takes a lot of guts to get up here and do this stuff. So you know what? Thanks a lot. My name's John Anderson. Been fun. Talk to you again. Have a good night, DLI. Bye-bye.